Many of the world's tallest dams are in China. Since the 1950s, the country has built more than 22,000 dams over 15 meters high, about half the world's total, for flood control, irrigation and, most importantly, hydroelectric power. Most of China's highest dams are in the southwest of the country, spanning rivers such as the Lanzhong, Yangtze, and Jinsha. First unit of the Shuangjiangku power station in Sichuan province is expected to be generating electricity by the end of this year. The Shuangjiangku hydropower project in southwest China, which will be the world's tallest dam when completed, began storing water on May 1, taking it a step closer to getting up and running. The $4.9 billion project in the ABA Tibetan and Chang Autonomous Prefecture in Sichuan province has been under construction for nearly a decade and will be used for power generation and flood control. It is situated upstream of the Dada River, which flows from the eastern Tibetan plateau into the Sichuan Basin. State-owned Power Construction Corporation of China, Power China, is building the project. The dam, a diversion and power generation system, as well as flood discharge structures. When finished the dam will be 315 meters, 1,033 feet, high. About the same height as a skyscraper with more than 100 stories. And 10 meters taller than the current record holder, the Jinping I Dam, also in Sichuan. That the water level was at 2,344 meters after the first phase of water storage was completed about 80 meters higher than the original river level. The dam's water storage capacity was said to be at 110 million cubic meters, equivalent to nearly eight times that of West Lake in Hangzhou province. Its first unit is expected to be generating electricity by the end of this year. When it is fully operational, it will have an installed capacity of 2,000 megawatts, and the dam will be able to generate more than 7 billion kilowatt hours of electricity a year. That is projected to meet the annual power needs of more than 3 million families. The clean energy generated by the plant could replace 2.96 million tons of the nation's coal consumption and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 7.18 million tons. There have been huge engineering hurdles to overcome given the project's location. At an altitude of more than 2,400 meters in an area with complex geological conditions, as well as its technical requirements. Cutting-edge tech such as robotics and new 5G communication technology have been used to tackle these challenges. That includes robotic rollers linked to sensors placed around the site that gather data to help improve performance, and the use of drones to detect potential environmental hazards.